What's up, Tag and Brag Nation? It's Trail Camera Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about organizing your trail camera photos, both how and why. You got pictures on your phone, pictures on your computer, pictures on your mother's phone, pictures on your daddy's phone, pictures on your laptop, pictures on your iPod. You got pictures printed out all over the table. You need to organize these things. Pictures. Pictures. Is it pictures or pictures? Oh, I got pictures of them. You got what? Oh, I got pictures of him. What? Pictures. Oh, I got pictures of him. Throughout the entire year, especially the growing season, and then you get into the rut, you're going to come across, if you're running numerous cameras, you're going to see a lot of different deer. You're going to see a lot of different bucks. And a lot of those bucks that we only see one time, what do we do? Eh, eh we're just going to delete that photo. It takes too much room up on my computer. Next year, you're going to get a buck pop up. He's going to blow up a little bit and you're going to be like, oh, where did he come from? Well, guess what? You probably got one picture of him last year. He was around. You could have learned something about him, but boom, that picture's gone. It's not even in the cloud. But organizing your photos allows you to go back at certain times of the year and say, oh, this deer popped up here only once this time. I only saw him once a year. Don't, don't even know who he is. Just see him one time a year. The last two years, he showed up in August every year. But as Dave and I were just doing, we were just looking at photos from last summer, and we were looking at trail camera pictures of deer in velvet that I didn't even know we had. Forgot that we had those deer in that certain area at that time of year. So going back and learning and looking at those photos literally helps for this summer but I can't do that if my pictures are not organized. Pictures, pictures. We just started using Hunt Perfect. Great organization program, awesome. It just allows you to set up and organize everything by area, by state, by camera. We have a section, a folder that's Camp Cutlet. And then from there, we got all of our cameras and all of our micro areas off of that. So it, it just allows you to spider web down from big to very small. You can organize your photos without programs as well. We would just have folders on our hard drives, usually by state, and then in that state, there would be, you know, 2017, 2018. So you click on 2018, and we would have numerous folders with each month. But it's fun to go back and look at all these pictures, because like I said, you forget about them. Especially if you have a lot of cameras out and just, you save a lot of photos, you're gonna forget about pictures that you got, and you're gonna go back the next year and say, oh my gosh, like I forgot I got pictures of this year, who is that? Oh yeah, he's got split G2s. Oh, maybe that's this deer that's coming now. Whoa, so yeah, he's got split threes. Oh, same deer. Good photo organization can honestly, in all serious, mean the difference in killing a certain buck that you know only shows up maybe in November, and you could plan for that deer with your trail camera organization just by knowing his patterns that your information and your pictures have given you. And it's gonna give you all the new information that these younger deer that you wanna hunt in a couple years are gonna be doing right now, next year, and the year after. And you're gonna be able to take all that information, bundle it up, and make a killing plan that's gonna work out because you took the time to organize your pictures.